if I told you you had limitless potential? What do you think about that? Well, it's true, you do. And this video is on how to develop your infinite potential. So I'm gonna talk about that, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a little meditation, I guess you would say, which I will walk you through guided so you can develop your infinite potential. Because you know, we are so controlled with our thoughts and our emotions, and we identify with the way it is today, or maybe in the past the way it was, and we think that's all there is. We kind of box ourselves in, because well, this happened in the past, or this is now, and th these are my thoughts, and these are my emotions, this is the way it has to be. No, because you know what? You are not your thoughts, and you are not your emotions. You are limitless, and you are infinite. But we have to develop it because we go through the day to day and again, we put ourselves in this little box, this little house, and we think like blinders, that's all there is. We limit our growth with our thoughts, with our current emotion, and we get stuck. We get stuck where we are and we can't see the expansiveness that is available to every single one of us. To you, to me, everybody. We all have this infinite potential. But again, we limit ourselves because of our current conditions. But you can develop it because you can connect with your soul, with source, and know that what you dream can come in this life. But it's expanding our mind. Because our mind, think about it, it's always in motion. Think about it like the clouds. They come and they go. But you know what? That's it. They come and they go. And the weather changes. And it can change. And the clouds can go. So even though right now you feel you're under a dark cloud, a rainbow may come out. And by doing this mindful meditation, mindfulness meditation for infinite potential, that is how you develop your rainbow, your potential to come out. Think of the sky. The sky is spacious. Spacious, even if you look at during the day or even at night, the stars, but you have that infinite potential inside of you. You do, and it could come out. First, you have to make the decision that you wanted to. Maybe you're happy with your current conditions. Maybe you want some change. So once you make that decision, then you can go forward with it. Because I want to ask you, what would you like to be? What would you like to be? What would you like your life to look like? Because when you are aware of it, that's how you can go in the direction of who you are and who you want to be. So stay tuned for this meditation, probably gonna put it to music and walk you through it so you can start developing your infinite potential because it is there for you. You are a miracle, you were here for a purpose and you can expand in any way you want. My name is Gloria Pearson. I'm a certified life coach. I have information below on my one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you enjoy my videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button because I am here to help you be the happiest person you know and to develop today your infinite potential. Love to hear from you in the comments. And again, let's get started with this wonderful, powerful mindfulness infinite potential meditation. This is a meditation for your infinite potential to develop it. Find a comfortable seat in a chair or on a cushion. Sit with your spine tall and neutral and your shoulders relaxed. Let your palms rest in your lap or on the thighs in a way that helps promote relaxation in the shoulders. With your eyes closed or with your gaze low at the ground ahead of you, breathe slowly and quietly in and out of your nose. Guide your attention to your breath. Let each exhale breath be at least as long 
as each inhale. Move towards a breath that reflects all the qualities that you'd like to see in your mind. Patience, steadiness, spaciousness, ease, infinite possibilities. Continue to focus on your breath with about 25% of the effort of your mind, zero in on the breath, but with an attention that's not too tight, not too loose, just right. With another 25% of your mind, notice whether or not you are still paying attention to the breath. Each time you find that your mind has wandered, shift your focus back to the breath so that the second part of the mind acts as the noticer, the witness. It too, not too active, not too dull, but just right. It is in the awareness that tells you when mindfulness has dropped. It is the awareness that guides you back to mindfulness and to infinite possibilities. Continue in this way watching your breath and noticing when your attention on the breath has stopped. Return to the breath as many times as you need to. Eventually, we notice that even the watcher needs a little part of the mind to watch it too. So with the third part of your mind, notice whether or not you are still aware of your mindfulness on the breath. It is the witness part of the mind doing its job. There's a third part of the mind that notices that. And what about the third part of the mind? Is it too doing its job? And then there's a fourth part of the mind further back that watches the watcher, who's watching the watcher, and so on. And back and back and back it goes. Follow for a moment the sensation of moving further back, deeper, into the origins of awareness. Where is or who is the original witness? As the mind gets lost or confused or overwhelmed, just rest. Rest in the spaciousness of awareness. It is limitless, without beginning, without end. That spaciousness, infinite, expansive awareness is you. Infinite in its ability to notice, infinite in its ability to see, to feel, to listen. Infinite in its ability to create possibilities. Infinite possibilities. 
Keep resting in this sensation of spaciousness. Open your awareness. Just be. When you feel the mind has gotten small again, closing in on one train of thought, one distraction, return the mind to the breath. Repeat the process. First part of the mind on breath. Second part of the mind witnessing the job of mindfulness on the breath without judgment Third part of the mind, witnessing the witness. Fourth part of the mind, witnessing the witness of the witness, and so on. Until you reach the felt sensation of open spaciousness again. And possibilities. And there you rest, you remain. Spend as much time as you like in this state of infinite potential. Limitless awareness. Limitless wide open space. See if you can hold that sensation of spaciousness. And see if there are any messages for you. As you slowly open your eyes and return to the space around you. You may want to jot down any messages that came in. And again, you can repeat this as often as you like. It is available for you. You are a powerful creator. Namaste.